a skin texture improvement. A workflow for making skin stickers to enhance skin texture. Of course not. Not only for improving skin. This sticker can improve anything. The principle is the same. Like this original picture. It is comparison of the generated plastic feel. No noise. Through this enhancement, the, the skin adds a lot of subtle noise. What's this called? Real feeling. I will introduce the instructions for use of these parts one by one later. First, let me introduce. I am currently using the online mirror of Joanna Kua. People don't want to deploy and install locally. Want to use it online? Just click on my mirror. Update to the latest version. I am using an online mirror. You say I can run. Then you can run. I have not only this node to improve skin texture. There are other categories. Video and audio. This workflow. Here, the skin texture blend map is enhanced, and there are many. All the latest models of Flux are available. All available online. No need to consider deployment and installation. There are also image classes. Video. There are workflows for generating videos and editing, such as removing video content or redrawing videos. There are also a voice. Extract human voice or a sentence sound clone or generate speech. Or generate music. Basically, everything is complete, so it is very convenient to use it online. If you don't know the local area, you can open my notes. Click on the Configure tutorial on this navigation. It will jump to this side of the workflow. The same one-to-one -one correspondence with the mirror image. Each workflow has a corresponding node. The first one is the image category. The first one in it improves the skin texture mix map. There is a node on it. Introduction and node installation introduction. There is also a screenshot of the workflow and a screenshot where the text can be clearly seen. Because this screenshot alone cannot clearly show any nodes. So there are detailed screenshots below. Below is the workflow download. Anyway, it's the workflow on the image. One, two, one over the video tutorial. This makes it easier for everyone to use. Okay, a detailed introduction. Let me first briefly introduce these three categories. The first step is to extract his skin. Accept as and mouth. Extract only the skin of the face. Step R. Create a texture. Then superimpose it on the area you just selected. The third step is to add a depth map. Contrast the stack. The effect will be more three-dimensional. The last one is to crop the face and paste it into the big picture. Because the area we need to produce is only the face. So here we use an automatic face cropping. Automatic cropping only crops the face part for processing. The last step is to merge the crop image into the original image. That is raw. Detailed introduction. First you need to upload a character image. Then use this to automatically crop. This is to set the crop border height, etc. Then below is an image enlargement. If you think the image is too small, you can use it to enlarge this image. Because this involves the texture size used for the subsequent mapping. So this step is where you can choose to enlarge the image or not. Then the one above is to use the prompt word to automatically mask. Here is a human face. 
so he extracted the face. But we don't need the details of the facial features, so we know it is used below. We can automatically select faces, some details. For example, eyes and eyebrows. mouth like this. By checking this box, we can extract the face mask. Finally, use this node to subtract the mask. This gives us a mask of the human face skin. The next step is Generate this map The first map is the noise The second map is the noise The size can be set here For example, the smaller this is For example, the bigger If it is 10, the grid will become larger If it's 200, he will become smaller You can understand it this way Noise does not need to be set This small is usually enough the next step is, it's a combination of noise. You can understand, noise overlay in Photoshop. This will generate an image with noise like this. Mix the two images above. Then this step is to extract the main color of that picture. Then select, for example, two. Maybe you want that. Then you extract the skin color of 3. Put it below. Finally, use it to generate a single color. Then, through image superposition, this is color overlay. This will overlay the texture you just made into the color below. Finally, superimpose it on this mask. This is the initial effect. If he compares it with the original picture, he added a lot of subtle noise. I used the soft light blending mode. Soft light and you can control the intensity yourself. Usually 9 is enough, because if it's too high, it will pass. Then the next step is to increase the contrast. Can you add more three-dimensionality? The first step is to generate a depth map. The second step is to control an node to set the contrast. Then use this to control him. The contrast of this node, for example, I want it to be darker behind. This is the middle value. This is the darkest. The whitest place is at the bottom. I adjusted the darkest area to 100. He will have a strong contrast. Of course, yes. So it depends on your needs. Usually, 100 is enough. Because if it is simple, the depth map is relatively grayscale. Flat and no three-dimensional sign. So use it to increase the contrast. Create a three-dimensional Then it's effect. still the same superposition. The soft light can be reduced a little bit this time. Don't set it too high. It depends on the you situation. You may need to increase. Then you just raise this. This way we can go further. This effect was produced. This will create some noise effects. Simulate some effects of real photography. Skin looks more delicate. More three-dimensional. Finally, this picture is cropped for processing. Then paste it back to the original picture. By custom size. You can set the size, whatever. Finally, use this node to link it to the original image. There is also data for cropping the there original image. There is also image. a crop of this picture. Three conditions. To achieve the effect of combining with the original image, this way the skin of the whole face will be more delicate. This node is used in conjunction with the clipping node. That is the node above. Because this face cropping node has a cropping data. This data is needed to perfectly merge the crop image with the original image.
That is all. This cropping data needs to be linked. The first one here is to connect this crop small picture. The second one is the uncrop large image. This is a crop image. This is the original picture. Through this node, you can restore it to the original size. And seamless connection. Okay, that's it for this episode. Can you improve your skin texture?